There's a life lesson in this movie. Sometimes crime goes bad. And sometimes movies about crime, oh uh, yeah, they go bad too. <laughs> 30 Minutes or Less. Now, 30 Minutes or Less is directed by the guy who directed Zombieland. So right there, I was like, awesome. And Jesse Eisenberg was also in Zombieland. So it's like that guy and Jesse Eisenberg are kind of like DiCaprio and Scorsese, only you know, not like that at all. And Jesse Eisenberg isn't really going anywhere in life. He's a pizza delivery guy. His friend from Parks and Recreation, whose name I really don't know, he has more going for him in life. He's a substitute teacher. But really the coolest thing about that is you get summers off. Otherwise that job would pretty much suck ass too. And then you have Danny McBride and his friend whose name I don't know. I don't know everyone's name. But we're also nowhere in life, and Danny McBride's dad is like a millionaire. So Danny McBride gets the idea from this stripper that he should hire someone to kill his dad so Danny McBride can get his inheritance. So Danny McBride's friend makes a bomb which they strap to Jesse Eisenberg's chest. And so they're like, all right, Jesse Eisenberg, you now have 10 hours to get us $100,000 so I can hire a hitman to kill my father so I can get my inheritance. And if Jesse Eisenberg fails, well, he goes boom. And then our 80 minute long movie ensues. Now this movie had a ridiculous premise, so I was like, it's gonna be hilarious. And it's directed by the guy who directed Zombieland, so I was like, it's gonna be hilarious. And the movie was kind of funny in parts. It was just so disjointed. Like for the first half, it was choppy. It didn't know where it wanted to go or even what kind of movie it wanted to be. And then in the second half of the movie, it picks up and becomes better with 40 minutes left in the movie. But still, it just wasn't enough. It's almost like the guy who wrote this movie was in script writing college and he was struggling. He didn't know what to do. So we had five roommates. So we just cherry picked from their scripts and he put a script together and now we have this. And I don't know what it is. There's something about that guy that's Jesse Eisenberg's friend. There's something about his voice. It just annoys me. I saw him in like one season of Scrubs and I was like, there's something about that guy. I don't like him. But he kind of has his high voice like this. Ugh. Which is funny because some people have said that about me. They're like, dude, there's something about your voice I hate. And if it's anything like that guy, I'm like, oh, I get it now. All right. That's cool. One cool thing came out of this movie though. The coolest part of the movie is this car chase scene in which the music playing to it is that 80s song that Heat is on. I was like, dude, when I get home, I am totally playing Burnout to that song. Which is funny because I came home and I started filming videos. But I will play Burnout to that song because it just looks awesome. Silver lining, people. We're looking for a silver lining. So in the end, it had some funny one-liners and it had a few funny scenes, but the movie was either boring or disjointed or all over the place or all around just kind of forgettable. In the end, you're not gonna remember it in T minus five hours. That's the time I'll give it, five hours. So okay, movie fanatics, favorite robbery scene of any movie ever. Could be robbing anything, doesn't matter. Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.